I'm Sean. And I'm Amber. And we are the couple that grills together. And this morning, it is Easter Sunday morning. This video won't come out to the end of the month, but it is Easter Sunday morning. So we thought we would have waffles this morning and we're gonna have pineapple coconut waffles with homemade butternut syrup. Butternut syrup, that sounds great. So here's all of our ingredients right here that you see. We're gonna do the waffle mix, the crusties waffle mix, which calls for a cup and a half of cold water. I always use milk instead of cold water. An egg and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And so we got all that out. We got our pineapple, we got some coconut over here, and then we got the ingredients for the syrup that Amber's gonna make. So let's get started on this. All right, so I'm gonna get started on the waffles. And while I'm making up the waffles, I am gonna tell a little waffle story. Amber's the storyteller in the family. Uh, that has come in real handy with doing the blogs. She has done a wonderful job. She does. She's done just about all the blogs. The first two or three were me. Since then, it's been her. But she is the storyteller. Even though at times, I gotta make my story short because otherwise I'll get made fun of. Because people always make fun of her about how long her stories are. So I gotta make my story short and sweet. So I'm gonna try to do that. So Amber and I are not world travelers by any means, but we like taking vacations after being married almost 26 years. So when we used to live in St. Louis, we used to actually come to Florida a lot on vacation and we'd always stay at the Drury Inns. And one of the things the Drury Inn had was free breakfast. So I'd always go down and make breakfast. And they had a waffle maker and I'd make waffles for Amber. And take them up to the room for. We have never owned a waffle maker until the last year. And that's crazy being married almost 26 years now. We've only had a waffle maker for the last year. But I tell everybody there's a little and I fully believe this, and, and sometimes, yes, you have to look for it, but there's always good that comes out of bad stuff. The last year has not been that great for a lot of people, but it there's good things that do come of it. And one of the good things for Amber and I that have come of it is what we do now. Everything you see as far as our videos, our blog has happened in the last year. Our waffle making, which is not only have we started making waffles, we've taken them to a whole nother level with some of the stuff we've done. But the last year has been... There goes the waffle maker. The last year has been great overall for us. I don't think we'd be on the road we are if this stuff wouldn't have happened. But being married for almost 26 years, we have also worked together in almost, well, at least 20 of those 26 years. And you think, and I know some people think, how could they get any closer? They, they, they work together, they live together. We're on-site managers at most of the places we've worked. So, I mean, we're right there all the time together. But this last year doing the blog and YouTube has brought us closer together because now, instead of getting up and making me making breakfast and Amber sleeping in or sitting on the couch or Amber making dinner and me sitting on the couch watching TV, we now do this together. So we do a lot more stuff together now. Now, instead of cooking Thanksgiving dinner all by herself for the most part, I'm actually in here helping her, uh, which was real nice. So it has brought us closer together. And I think uh, 
today is a good day to reflect on some of this stuff and realize how blessed we truly are with the things and and again I know it's not, to some people it'll sound crazy but you just you, out of bad things there are good things and this again if it wasn't for the last year we would I know we would not be where we are, are at today with the blog and the YouTube because that had never even crossed our mind to even do uh, but is and the best thing that has come out of that even is it's brought us closer together which again like I said it's hard to believe considering how much time we spend together as it is now we do have some we do argue just like everybody else um, but we get through it and it's usually short and sweet but we really have become closer with this uh, with cooking together with doing the videos together with doing the blog together and it's been a lot of a lot of fun so I'm gonna get the mixer going now that was my little story I hope it wasn't too long we'll get the mixer going mix all this up hey Sean you did put some vanilla in there about how much do you think that was? That was that was probably about a half a uh, well about a about a half a tablespoon of vanilla right there. Okay. Now that I got all the main ingredients mixed up. We're gonna add a half a cup of coconut flakes to the mixture. And then on the pineapples, how much are we gonna add? We're gonna do a half a cup. And this is crushed pineapples. We're gonna add a half a cup. And then we're gonna save a little bit of the rest of it to drizzle on the waffles when they're done. So depending on what you're putting in your waffles, like today we put the the pineapple, crushed pineapple in there, it does add more liquid to it. So you might just need to add a little bit more of the waffle mix just to thicken it up a little bit. And that's what I've done now, just added a little bit more. So now the waffle maker's heated up, we're gonna get some waffles on. And while we're doing that, I think, Amber has a waffle story to tell us. I do. So, the past year has been really difficult for me. Um, I have a lot of anxiety, and my husband is an absolute saint for being able to deal with my anxieties. So, it's been a little bit rough, especially the early months of when COVID hit. And we decided we wanted a waffle maker so that we could make waffles at the house. And you know how sometimes you just get something in your head that you want this thing to happen and you're not gonna be happy until it materializes. So we decided we were gonna get a waffle maker, but this was when everything was pretty much locked down across the country. And so we were at the mercy of trying to find something that could be uh, delivered to us. So we were going online, trying to find places that we could um, either do a, a curbside pickup or have it delivered to us. And no one had waffle makers. They were sold out because everybody was having the exact same idea that we had. People were tired of staying at home and tired of eating the food that they were making. They wanted to change it up a little bit. So finally, I found one at Target that could be delivered that day. So I go ahead and I order it and it gets delivered that afternoon. And when the girl brings it to our house, I could not believe my eyes. It was this teeny tiny waffle it's iron it did not say some of you out there know what it is because i know y'all use it for some of the stuff you cook with but it's one of those little bitty ones teeny tiny i mean the smallest thing that i have ever seen with a kitchen appliance and 
So we laughed about how many waffles it was going to take uh, to make breakfast. So the next morning I was so excited to use my teeny tiny waffle maker and I got one waffle made and then it stopped working properly and it would not heat up all the way. So I had to, it would only get it to where it was just barely uh, caramelized on right. the outside. Um, the waffle was still raw. So I had to limp my way through that and I made these little waffles that were barely a, hard enough to get them out of the waffle maker. And then I had to use a little uh, skillet to finish cooking these things up and get them done the rest of the way. It was the most hysterical. So we found it. So we, yes, so that said there, we had to find the right waffle maker and we actually, it's a Cuisinart waffle maker and that took us a while to find. It did, we and, had to wait and then um, we, after a we couple of months for it to. Yeah, before it came in stock, we actually ordered it and had to wait almost two months before it could get delivered. Yeah. Uh, it was worth the wait. Yes, it was. It makes great waffles. And it's a, this is a double decker Cuisinart, uh, Cuisinart waffle maker. I'm glad somebody else messed up on saying that, <laughs> not me. That's crazy to think. Now I'm going to tell y'all that I said it first and said it the right way. <laughs> and she said it second and said it the wrong way. Because that's usually not how that goes. It's me that's going to mess up saying something. You know, All right. Sounds like the first waffle's done. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it is. That's a good looking waffle right there. It's not Texas shaped, but it's a good looking waffle. Oh, there's the other one. That one turned out great too. What movies are we watching on Easter? We are going to be watching here comes Peter Cottontail. Here comes Peter Cottontail. And then every year we always watch the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. And then we got a new one for this year that we, I don't remember ever watching it, but I know I had to have watched it as a kid. It's another Rankin Bass movie and it has Fred Astaire in it. The Easter Bunny is coming to town. The Easter Bunny is coming to town. And it's to stop animation, right? Yes. Just like Santa Claus coming yep. to town. Yep. Yes, we love movies like that. Even though I'm 52 years old. That's all right. All right, the waffle maker's beeping at us. Our other two waffles are done. Turned out great again. See, if Amber only had something like this to make pancakes with. <laughs> so now that we got the waffles made, we're gonna turn our attention to Amber's homemade syrup. And what kind of syrup is it? Butternut syrup. Butter pecan. Butter pecan homemade syrup. So we're gonna turn our attention to that. All right, let's make it up. What are we doing? Okay, so we've got two sticks of butter and we're gonna get those melted. Okay, so the butter is melted. Now we're going to add two cups of sugar. Now we're going to take one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and add that in. Okay, so now it's to a boil. So we're gonna let this boil for three minutes and you want to stir it the entire time. Okay, so we let this boil for three minutes and we have turned off the heat. So now we're going to take a teaspoon of the butternut flavor. This is the same flavoring that we use to make the butternut cake that we have a video on and we're mixing that in. And now I'm gonna take a half a cup of chopped pecans 
and mix those in. And now all we need to do is let this sit for just a couple minutes until it is cooled off just a little bit to help thicken it up. And then we'll be ready to serve up our waffles. All right, so now we've got the serve done, the waffles are made up. How are we gonna put this all together, Amber? Okay, so um, we did go ahead and drain the rest of the crushed pineapple so that it wouldn't have all that extra juice uh, for when we put it on top of our waffles. So just gonna put a little bit on there. And then we're going to take our delicious butter pecan syrup. Let me tell you, it is good. And we're just gonna pour that on there. Doesn't that look delicious? It does. That looks great. I'm excited about having a bite of these. Now, if you notice, yes, yeah, sometimes when we have waffles, we do put butter on there uh, because we're using this syrup and it's a little thicker syrup than some of the other ones we've used. We are not putting any butter on our waffles. We're just using the pineapple. Well, and this has butter and it, in it. Right, and it has butter in it. So that's the main reason why you don't see us putting butter on it. All so right. Now we're gonna try a bite, huh, Amber? So, they're ready to go. We're, I'm excited about this. Let's try, you try, mm, man. Oh. I'm so excited, I can't stand it. Oh my gosh. That syrup. That syrup is good stuff, man. That's really good. I would say that is some smacking good waffles right there. I would agree with that. And I'm smacking a lot right now. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have another bite. So, the thing about these waffles is you can make them your own. We gave you some guidelines on how much pineapple, how much coconut to put in there. But at the end of the day, you just put however much you want in there. And, um, but definitely make sure that you make that butter pecan syrup because that is out of this world. That butter pecan syrup is, mm. Obviously that's not something you can have on a regular basis or even a semi-regular basis, but it is definitely worth having once in a while. It is outstanding. I'm gonna see if I can freeze what we have left over because I would hate to throw that away, but we definitely will not be eating any for a while but so, it is so good. Well, Amber, I think it's time for everybody to go make some waffles and sit down and have some this Sunday morning because everything's, everything's better, better together. together. Man. Let me take a bite of your waffle too. Oh, I thought that was your waffle. Wow. I don't know. I thought we were taking out on mine. It don't matter. Just trying to even it out some. That's not.